democracy truly representing the people's voice in its current state? That's a question we find ourselves grappling with as we observe a significant disconnect between politicians and the ordinary citizens they are supposed to represent. The essence of democracy, after all, is the rule of the people, by the people, for the people. But how often do we see this truly reflected in our societies? This brings us to an innovative concept, opinion and processing cells, or COPs. Picture this, instead of traditional politicians, these COPs would consist of ordinary citizens, like you and me. They would stand as true representatives of the population, collecting and processing our requests and proposals. A paradigm shift from the norm indeed. For every 10,000 inhabitants, a COP with diverse demographic representation would be created. Young and old, men and women, all walks of life working together. These COPs would not only represent the people, but they would also be the people. How can technology help to bridge the gap between the government and the governed? This question is more pertinent than ever in our increasingly digital age. Technology, particularly digital communication platforms, can be a powerful tool in strengthening democracy. Consider Urbired, a proposed digital platform that could serve as a conduit for citizen demands. In a world where we can order groceries, book vacations and even find love with the swipe of a finger, why can't we voice our political needs and desires the same way? Additionally, organizations like the Federal Electoral Institute, or IFE, must evolve. They need to transition from being seen as partisan entities to becoming non-partisan technological concepts. This would involve leveraging technology to ensure fair, transparent elections and to keep the citizenry informed and involved. With the help of technology, we can overcome partisan competition and focus on pragmatic, educational government effectiveness. Technology can truly revolutionize the way we participate in and perceive democracy. Is justice truly served in its current state? It's a question that demands our attention. Our judicial system, like any other institution, requires a constant evolution to keep pace with the ever-changing societal demands. The scales of justice must balance the needs of the many with the rights of the individual. Significant reforms are imperative. Laws should not be rigid, unyielding structures, but flexible instruments that adapt to the human scale. They must be proportional to the needs of society, reflecting our evolving understanding of fairness and equality. Imagine a system where justice is not just a lofty ideal, but a lived reality for all. This would be a system that upholds the principles of fairness, transparency, and accountability. A system that respects the dignity and worth of every individual. It's a bold vision, but one worth striving for. Justice, like democracy, must be adapted to the human scale. Let's work together to make this vision a reality.